Little Caesars Arena giving us the first look inside the Red Wings locker room and showing off some uh, brand new progress. Our cameras and of course our sports guy Brad Galley getting that tour today. New, shiny, looks like the arena that you're we're going to love, and it's only on 7 tonight. That's right, and the cup holders. The seats are in the first batch of them, and there are cup holders. That's a big news That's for exciting, Red Wings fans. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of changes from what Joe Louis Arena had. There's going to be a lot of history in the new home of the Red Wings and the Pistons. Signs and memorabilia from the legends of the past will litter the building. Tom Wilson telling me today it's going to be, quote, dripping with history. But make no mistake, Little Caesars Arena is all about taking these teams into the future. And today, some big steps to unveil. Tom's taking us through the elevator. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Holy smokes. See, the seats just started to go in this week. Come on. But yeah, the walls are starting to take shape in terms of uh, the color. But when the seats go in, it's, it, it just feels real. While the 1,200 men and women working to make it a reality were on their lunch break, we went from the best seats in the building to the top of the stadium. The great thing about the Joe is that everybody always says there's not a bad seat. How did you try to maintain that while also trying to take that next step forward with the new stadium? Well, I think the biggest thing is we tried to keep everything tight and we looked around the, the league to say, okay, who has the most intimidating bowl in all of hockey? And general manager Ken Holland said it's without question Montreal because it, everything is contained. You don't have any sort of open space, much larger than the Joe, and yet it feels very, very tight. Everybody involved is very proud to say that this building is different than others they looked at, like ones in Chicago and Dallas where the seating is similar, but the sound shoots all the way to the top of the ceiling. Take a look up here at Little Caesars Arena, and the difference is evident. And we have this grid system, but it kind of brings the ceiling down 30, 40 feet, so the feeling of intimacy and the tightness that you have in the bowl is unlike any place else. The first look inside a Little Caesars Arena restroom. Beautiful. Still needs some work. But yeah, there's some key elements missing, I think. Heading to the uh, Wings locker room. Yeah, it's five times larger than the uh, existing Red Wings locker room. Oh my gosh. The training facility is remarkable. There's uh, theaters for the guys, there's lounges for them. It's a major undertaking, but it's worth it because of the importance to us and the importance to the city. It's kind of the last piece in the puzzle of this great Renaissance story that we're telling about Detroit. That Red Wings locker room is enormous. There is a pool with a treadmill in it. The Pistons locker room is halfway around the bowl. It's still in the earlier stages of construction, so we couldn't get in there today. But the players for both teams are going to have a parking lot that leads right into a tunnel that takes them into the arena. And for fans, the good news, we didn't just go into the restrooms as a bit. They are going to triple the number of restrooms from Joe Louis Arena to Little Caesars Arena. That is maybe the best news. And we can kick back and put there. our cups in the holders. Do right? it. Uh huh. Absolutely. You've been in a lot of arenas in a lot of places. What did you think about this one? It is going to be tight, like they were saying. They want to make it the steepest arena in hockey, but it is huge. There is going to be so much to see every time you go there.